Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here today, and welcome to yet another Vader Secrets and Lore video. So if you guys saw my last video, The Mountain God Theory, this is a part 2 to that video. If you haven't seen Mount The Mountain God Theory video yet, I would suggest you go watch it now. As I will be referring to the contents and the ideas I discussed in that video, in this video, to add to the theory that I proposed in that video, and to propose a new theory. As I mentioned in the last video, I don't actually believe in the Mountain God Theory. This is mainly because of the evidence I found while we're doing research for the Mountain God Theory. The theory I actually do believe that I concluded from my research is that the bears that are seen throughout the maps represent deceased humans. The evidence for that is that many bears throughout many different maps seem to be in positions that indicate they are in a deceased status. A, one example of this is a, the image I'm showing on screen now. This shows a man who either drank himself to death due to the large number of uh, beer bottles around him or was drinking when the radiation rolled in. I am able to say he is deceased due to the large amount of blood around him. If this theory is true, it does explain one potential dev tweet. The tweet being, And just like that, this fabric went quiet. As the fast breaths became silent, it was obvious. A man simply isn't stronger than the radiation wave. It would explain the dev tweet due to the fact that there's a large number of bears found on Fist Fabrique. Taking the dev's tweet into account and this theory being true, it would state that the people of Fist Fabrique were unable to evacuate when the radiation rolled in, thus causing them to die in large numbers inside of their houses. Another thing I would like to mention that I mentioned in my last video was the bear shack. The bear shack I stated would potentially be the location of the mountain god, as he is the one who is much like Pennywise going around being a vengeful spirit and killing people. However, now I suggest that he is just a normal serial killer, and that the man found within the, or the bear found within the bear shack, is actually just the body of a serial killer. The serial killer's final victim being himself, which is shown by the blood splattered around, the tools being in disarray, and of course, the actual location of the bear being there. Another piece of evidence is that if the worshippers of the mountain god cult actually worship the bear, then the bear will be found in some shape or form within the church. However, the bear isn't which could mean that the bear was actually a symbolization for the body of Jesus, meaning that when the worshippers of the church removed the bear, they now are worshipping a new god, or the mountain god. Now before moving back to the mountain god theory from the last video, I do want to state that there is something that doesn't exactly line up for this theory. I have an example, probably on screen right now, of a bear that does not seem to be a human. Well, yes, it is next to a carriage, the angle at which it's at on the table does not seem humanly possible for a baby to lie on, or for it to be left at. If you disagree, do state so in the comments, but I just think this one is a little bit off. Now, going back to the Mountain God theory from our last video, there is some evidence that we found to supplement it. One of which is the altar's proximity to the bear hut, which may show the hut's ties to the Mountain God. Now, there are a lot of evidence we found since then, to disprove the mountain god theory. One of which is that there are many more bears that we've been mentioning earlier in this video throughout the maps that ha seem to have no ties to the mountain gods. Another piece of evidence that we found is that the bear located within the bear shack seemingly has tools on him. And if this was an actual mountain god, I highly doubt it would require tools to actually kill its assailants. If the mountain god was actually tied to the bear, I believe there would be much more obvious symbols, besides just the timing having to line up. I believe that the bear would have many more ties and relations to the uh, mountain god if they truly were supposed to be connected to each other. However, the symbolisms that should be there and should point us to more to base this theory on just don't exist. And honestly, I believe the theory being based mainly off of the timing of the moving of the bear just isn't enough for it to be a full-fledged theory. Um, I do think it's interesting, and I do hope we find some more ties that could make the Mountain God potentially something else. Maybe the Mountain God is a uh, something we don't know about yet, but I honestly don't think the bears have very much to do with the Mountain God. Now, with that, I do want to mention one last point. We're on the last point here. The bears in the houses where they are located quite often, uh, pretty much the whole bears or humans theory is based off that, do not seem to be being worshipped, which is something you could bring up to say, like, well, maybe the bears are in a lot of houses, they're being uh, idols for the mountain god. I don't believe that, simply because the bears that we find in a lot of houses just don't seem to be acting as religious figures, they seem to be acting a lot like humans. 
and in what I'm saying is deceased humans. Um, so with that, we are finished. Uh, thank you all for watching this video today. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you have, if we find enough evidence or enough counter evidence to either of these two theories, we will make a part three. Uh, if you have any evidence or any counter evidence, put it in the description, uh, in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, whether with this theory or out of this theory, um, I have a bunch of links in the description. Most of those will lead you to me. Uh, the Mixer and the Twitch, if I'm live streaming, feel free to slide into my chat and be like, here's a question. Put me on the spot, see if I can answer it. I'll probably be aggravated for the moment, but eh, I deserve it. Um, I have the Discord, the VSL Discord. There, you probably can find like three people who can answer your question. Um, I also have VSL Twitch, uh, Twitter. Just tweet at us, and uh, we'll definitely answer you if you tweet at us. That's 100%. Um, but now that I've gotten that out of the way, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time.